Welcome back to my Christmas gaming marathon. This is Chill Out Christmas Special. Five new festive levels of your fave penguin caper. How to play. Use the arrows to guide Chill Out through the five levels of the game. Use left and right to move up to jump and down arrow to crouch. If you walk into a turkey, you'll lose life, but you can eliminate them by jumping on top of them. Okay, so turkeys are like Goombas, basically. This is a Mario clone. There's also 20 coins to collect on each level. Hint, try headbutting some of the square blocks for bonus coins. Once you reach the flag at the end of the level, you'll progress to the next one. All right, can I find all the coins and complete five levels? So it doesn't look like it's a very long game. It's just a, a simple little Mario clone. Oh, okay, I thought maybe I could headbutt that, uh, that block. So while it's very simple, while it it's, was done with vector graphics, which means it actually scales quite beautifully. So it looks quite nice, even on, you know, modern resolutions. I don't know if I should be going down below, because there is a coin down there. Hmm, or should I go that way? Well, let's go this way first. Let's see if we're actually required to get all the coins, or if we just have to beat the level. I'm assuming that those coins lead somewhere good. I mean, if not, that seems pretty awful. <laughs> Okay, so end of level. I only got 15 coins, so I didn't get all the coins. We'll click on the next level to see. All right, so again, just a very simple little Mario clone where you play this, uh, not quite penguin. It's like a kid in a penguin costume, I guess. But the platforming feels crisp. It's nice, I like it. Uh, the graphics are simple, but they're beautiful. It's only five levels. That's, I think, my biggest concern, is that that doesn't seem like very much space to have secrets and things in, but, you know, as long as they pack the levels with some stuff, then that might be just fine. Oh, look, a bonus coin. All right, so I got 20 coins on that one, but it looks like some of these maps have more than 20 because I, I don't think I actually collected all of them. I don't love that the jumping noise is so much louder than, than the other noises, but... What happens if I stand up? Okay, so if I stand up while crouching, it just kind of shoves me. It's not like Mario in that way, okay. But I like I like the platforms. They seem to be working well. The little Goomba replacements are, I guess, Christmas-themed. I guess I don't think of turkey as a, a Christmas dish. I think that a, a, of that as Thanksgiving, but I know that in a lot of places, a Christmas turkey is a more common sight. All right, so far I haven't died, but I think that's just because I've not gone for all the coins. I'm guessing that some of the coins are in harder to reach spots, which requires you to, you know, be a little bit more dangerous. All right, let's see if we can get this. Is this the third level or the fourth level? I don't remember. All right, let's uh, get up. Oh, there we go. I hit my head on that guy. Just trying to see up above to see what there is. Oh, I don't know how I can get up there. Maybe... Whoa! Okay, so I slid off the edge there. If you get too close to the corner, you'll just drop right off and plummet. Okay, so maybe I can get back up and over to the left? Hmm. I don't really see how to get over there. It's got to be a running jump from that platform. That's my only guess. So I just have to time it right. And then... Something like that. There we go. All right. Oh no, I fell. <laughs> Oh, goodness gracious. You'd think with all the Mario Brothers I've played in my life that I wouldn't... I wouldn't freak out and mess up, but, you know, I still do. Man, alright, so it definitely feels... It feels like there's a little bit of inertia when you run back and forth, which leads to, you know, kind of fishtailing. That's fine, though. Let's just... let's move on. We don't have to get all the coins. Alright. Again, I'm gonna assume that these coins are leading somewhere good. There we go. Oh, I can't get on top of that one. Well, we'll wait for the next one. Oh, there we go. Stay on top. Yeah, I mean, I can't, I can't out and out recommend this as it seems to be a pretty short little game, but it shows promise. If the developer, you know, really made a lot of levels and decided to make something a little more fully featured, I, I think it would be solid. All the, all the basics are there. The mechanics of running and jumping, they feel crisp and tight, which is always. You know, the hardest thing about a platformer, really, is just making it so that it feels internally consistent, which is one of the reasons why Mario, to this day, does so well, is that it just feels excellent. You're like, oh yeah, that's how I expect it to move, because it teaches you so quickly, and then stays consistent. And this one feels like it's doing that too well. Like, I can move around very consistently. It doesn't feel like Mario. It feels very different from Mario, but it's, it's the same sort of thing where... 
once you've gotten a hold of of what the controls in this are like, you know what to expect and you know you know how to navigate it just fine. So yeah, no complaints here. Just a simple little platformer, which is if if you like that sort of thing, then go ahead and check this one out. I think I've done all the levels, so that's this one. But if this isn't your thing, then come on back in an hour because I've been playing different holiday games practically every hour of December. So come on back and I'll show you a new one. All right, take care. Merry Christmas.